And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Starlit Fate as our next deck. We've played this deck a couple of times and I've really liked it. It's been impressive. It kind of it looks like a weird hodgepodge of cards, but it's it's really effective. Um, just a, a bunch of uh, solid cards kind of thrown together. The name of our deck we uh, built around Starlit Seer. Whenever we cast spells, grant the top allies of our deck plus one plus one. And also Twisted Fate, you know, that that just is a, a really good, um, you know, just a really good champion. But uh, yeah, so we want to we want a lot of spells, right, with Starlet Seer. And we also need a good amount of allies because we need and card draw because we need to draw into those allies that get the the pump. And our deck, I think, accomplishes that pretty well. Brittle Steel and Elixir of Iron are just amazing spells at one mana. And then we have like Coral Creatures that... Uh, creates a spell for us to be able to play a cheap one, but it's also a body that can, um, you know, as a 1-2, it's not not that great. But if Coral Creatures is a 3-4, a 4-5, you know, stuff like that, you start making this thing bigger, it's only a really, really good card. And that's kind of like just the our deck in general. We got some Pilfered Goods in here. Um, I'm uh, I'm basically half and half with 21 Bilgewater, 19 Freljord. But still going with the Yorl Grifter. So like we're about half and half for the Allegiance. But still going with this just to create the Warning Shots. Um, at the very least. Because Warning Shot is a cheap, you know, zero mana spell. So super cheap spell to be able to play with Starlet Seer. And turning on that Plunder for Riptide Rex is really important. Because Riptide Rex is a huge bomb that can take over the games. Also got some Sejuani's in here. Because Sejuani is just a really good body at, at a 5 five six four six with overwhelm and if you pump these up you know with starlet seer if you start making this like an eight nine and nine ten like with overwhelm it can just really end the game fast especially if you vulnerable a super small creature and make a small creature block this and then overwhelm a whole bunch of damage that's our deck let's go let's let's play some games you had someone pull off karma and leveled up twisted fate oh yeah <laughs> Did not win that match, but it looked cool. That's actually a deck I was working on today was Twisted Karma. Maybe it was me. Maybe you're playing against me. Um, <clears throat> and because uh, I did that earlier today, actually, I had both Karma and Twisted Fate both leveled up. And it was like against the Demacia deck, I think. I did that er earlier today. Um, and I basically I didn't play that deck today because I already had like this Twisted Fate deck. We had another Karma deck. Um, so I'm, I'm going to play that deck tomorrow. So we didn't just have like all the same kind of decks. All right. We're facing burn. I don't think I've played against burn too much with this deck. I don't, I don't remember, honestly. I just don't know what we faced with this deck before. It's been a little while. I do know that we've played it twice and we were four, one, both times. So we have an 80% win rate with this deck, 8 and 2. See the Demastian border from here. I can do this. Hmm. First big Boom crew rookie, why are you so good? Probably not worth throwing this away for one life. Probably. But maybe it is. I wish I had something else to protect the Jaw Hunters. Ooh, that works. Okay, good. I'd like them to play more one toughness things. We could twist the fate. Oh no. Not a two three. I guess that means I'm gonna Yordle Grifter. Ooh, yes, take that noxion forever, please. That card is busted. Cause this gives me a three three to block.
I play Twisted Fate, I take two damage. Hmm. That doesn't really help. Let's make a deal. Going out here, random one cost follower. Yeah. What's up? Plucky Poro. Just attack here, nowhere else. Interesting. I think I'm gonna block with the thing that draws me a card so I get another card. I wanted to have Noxion Fervor available to kill the Crimson Disciple if need be. I'm just not going to kill them fast enough, am I? Normally we'd be playing Starlet and Twisted Fate, but I do need to kill them before they get too much burn. Yeah, I'm just not going to kill them fast enough. Crimson Disciple has actually been really, really nice. It's really uh, stopped so much of my so much of my plans. I don't really imagine that I get out of this alive and that I get to attack them again. Yeah, that aggro deck is really, really strong. Like I don't, I don't remember. You know, the last time that we played this, I don't remember if if we really played against the aggro deck too much. People were really playing that. But yeah, that burn deck, it's really hard to beat, honestly. Do you pay for get all cards, or what is the trick to get cards? Um, no, you just you just kind of keep playing, and you just earn XP, and just change your. You know, you have the region rewards, and you know if you go to the rewards. Um, you know, you level up the different regions. I recommend leveling up to level eight and get the champion capsule and then start on the next region and, and kind of go down instead of taking one region up to level 20 because you start earning the, the cards a lot slower the higher level you're at. Um, but yeah, you can also you can also spend money if you want if you want more cards right away and you basically just purchase um, that's good. You just purchase, uh, yeah, I recommend reaching, yeah, reach, 
level eight for each region and then go on to the next. If you just purchase gold and and um, and then you use the gold, you can just use the gold to craft whatever uh, cards you need. Alright, make it rain's not bad. It's unfortunate, that thermogenic beam. I wish I could just block Elise. I'm not greedy. My friends... Ooh, got a vengeance. That may come in handy later on. We're going to do this right now. We'll just level up the Sejuani one. Let's cast this. Oh, that was good. Um, yeah, Tito, if you have, uh, let's see, click on there for the mobile addicts, for all the decks, and it's, you know, it's like the first one, I think. I was definitely thinking that. I was like, if I play the Hearth Guard and then the, if they have Brood Awakening, this is going to be really annoying. Unfortunately, they do have Brood Awakening. If I didn't play that Make It Rain, I would have that one extra mana still. I could make that vulnerable. Welcome, Tito. Nothing escapes my watch. Hey, Leberon. Leberon Z, brand new Twitch Prime sub. Y'all get some hype in the chat? Thanks, Leberon Z. Frostbite that thing. Give that vulnerable. Let's give this vulnerable. Okay. So you're gonna do that, you will do... Eh. They still have enough for Vengeance, just do they have another Vengeance? I have Elixir of Iron, so if they go... If they go just the damage route, I got that. They, you know, go grasp the undying or gotcha. I'll have elixir of iron. Oh, thank you so much, Lebronzi. Thank you. All 
All right, well, let's see. So we're going to brittle steel this thing. It's going to be step one. Step two. We're going to elixir nothing and just let this happen. Why if I do that? Uh, no elixir there. I've been trying Ezreal Swain. It's pretty interesting. Okay. That does sound very interesting. Ezreal Swain. Vi stands for vicious. Get him where it hurts. Freeze. Let's not ruffle our feathers. I mean, the the five two is probably just gonna be trading with like that that thing anyway. No, we don't have glimpse beyond. I don't know if this will still trigger Starlet Seer or not. Maybe not, because now it's gonna fizzle. That's a bummer. You could have Ruination, and that'd be also a bummer. But uh, if they do, I'm putting a couple more things out and then attacking with those things. But yeah, that was the other pretty likely scenario. Um... Like, shouldn't even be pulling this 1 1. They're just gonna make that block anyway. No. Give me a Ledros. Or a Karina. Okay, I'll take a Mystic Shot. Mystic Shot's not bad. I'll take that. So, okay, so if you manage the. Uh, manage getting them both together is pretty devastating. You can use cards to get rid of the smaller guys, and then Swain takes care of the big ones. Okay. Yeah, I like that. Do you have a, a deck list you'd like to share, Fury? Maybe I'll try that out tomorrow.
All right, so level up. Uh, the first time I see damage, the enemy nexus each round, frostbite all enemies. Iceborne Legacy Spiders. Are you are you actually pulling off the, the Iceborne Legacy? I know that's a difficult card to pull off. If they're trying like atrocity, we will brittle steel. Basically, they need seven points of burn in hand. That's that's how they win this. And I have make it rain now also. So like, they win this if they have seven points of burn in hand. Otherwise, they're dead. And atrocity doesn't count. So they need, you know, mystic shot, mystic shot. Get excited. Because that's deals damage equal to power. Hey, Avon Snow with the raid. Thank you, Avon Snow. Uh, we can also just do this. I don't. I don't want to click OK. I'm scared. All right, that's lethal. Thanks for the raid. What's up, everybody? We're having some fun. We're a couple of wins away from Masters right now. We also got a special early stream tomorrow. They're going to Mystic Shot my Sejuani. That won't work. All right, one and one. <laughs> yep, almost Masters again. Yeah, right right now it seems like it's all about the burn deck. Right? Like it's honestly like the probably the best thing it's it's really probably the best thing to play. Um, you know, if you're for anybody struggling to rank up. Like the burn deck is just so good. Um, I do kind of expect it to be nerfed at some though, like something in there like maybe Boom Crew Rookie or yeah, and I, yeah, I understand. Yep, yeah, but you hate, yeah, you hate playing burn. Um, I was doing pretty good with the Karma Thresh control against burn. That one's a tougher one to play, and the games are really close, so a couple of missteps um, can cost you. But let me, I'll link that in just a second. I'll, I'll keep this. This looks good. Riot is amazing with balancing. Yeah. Um, What's that noise? Yeah, they are, they are great. They basically every single month they do uh, once a month they do a balance patch, um, and uh, and balance things out. And so that's why I expect kind of the burn to to be balanced because last format like right before the new set came out, burn wasn't good. Like the burn deck was pretty bad. And so it's just suddenly, you know, they, the new set comes out now. Suddenly, burn is is awesome thanks to Noxion Fervor, for the most part. Um. Okay, this is the Karma Thresh control. Yeah, it's okay, Trunks. Uh, the burn deck is it's PNZ Noxus. Um, I could, I'll give you uh, my burn list. I must get out of here. There you go. That's that's a, a link to my burn list. It's there in the YouTube. Block. You're welcome, y'all. So that's that's my best burn deck right there. Um, the the whole how do you beat burn? I'm not. I don't have like a great answer. I've been trying some different stuff the last few days. We've been playing a lot more um, 
healing potions yesterday and today. And like the Karma Thrash, we went, we were 4 1 overall, we were 2 1 against Burn. And, you know, we have like healing potions in there and withering whales and grasps and everything like that. But sometimes Burn will still win. As I said, we were 2 and 1 against it. Um, but yeah, like that's, I think that's kind of the start is playing health potion, like more health potions. Tomorrow I'm going to be playing a Twisted Karma deck that I do think... I, I think the Twisted Karma deck that I'm playing tomorrow is going to be pretty good against Burn also because um, because it has like Make It Rain as a two-mana removal spell, which is very good, and then with health potions and a bunch of card advantage and stuff like that. It's not like the best at winning the games, and it doesn't have like Withering Will and Grasp for card for a uh, life gain later on. This is gonna work out pretty well. Twisted Fate, red card, deal one to everything. That worked out pretty well. Hmm. Here's a big one. All right, Beast. Have a good one. I'll see you later. Not a very good ye been warned, but I just kinda wanna draw draw a card. Don't really want to use my four one to challenge any of this stuff. Riptide Rex. That's a good card right there. It's my favorite go-to deck, whether it's good or bad, you know, just fun for you. Um, not sure. Recently, I've been... You know, like the decks I've been playing off stream recently have just yeah, you know, I've been playing a lot of I've been playing a lot of uh like Ionia um health potion decks off stream trying to find something to be burn. That's what I have been focused on. Um like this deck that we're playing right here, I I really like this deck. I really like playing this deck. This this would be up there if you had to just say like I could only play, you know, one deck. I gotta play something that that I enjoy. This would be right up there. I like this new Bilgewater region and like the the steel card stuff. Um, it's like the the twisted the twisted fate karma deck we're gonna play tomorrow. I had a lot of fun playing that deck earlier because it's it's full bore steal your cards and stuff like that. Like all the the pilfered cards and then you level up karma and then <laughs> steal a whole bunch of stuff. That's pretty fun. And then I like the Demacia Sacrifice, and I like the Sejuani Frostbite. Those are those are also two decks that I play for fun. Uh, two other decks that I really enjoy. <clears throat> Alright, came up with a meme tier Monday idea. You run only unit Ascribe Sorrows, then Iceborne Legacy and spells to make infinite sorrows. Yes, I actually did that, Pawn. Um, I think I, I called it, like, Legacy of Sorrows. Um, we did not... It didn't work out well. But yeah, I called the deck Legacy of Sorrows. Um, we did, didn't really 
do much winning. But that is a, just a sweet idea. All right, three three Omen Hawk. Gotta trust your instincts. All right, I'll trust my instinct. Stinks that playing a three three Omen Hawk is pretty good. So one Rex is going away. By my hand, not trust right. eh, I should just probably cast this first. Cool, kills the one ones. No, four damage. I don't think yeah, I won't I won't save it if I elixir. This will be a good winter. Safety will cost you. Heavy packets, huh? You lack discipline. Yeah, voice lines are really good in this game. It's a sweet level up. Alright, so bad news is, you know, they, they killed my Starlet Seer and my Twisted Fate. Good news. Oh man, if I just had that card. Good news, this Swain's going to be pretty dead. I guess we got a block. They're just gonna not do like are they just gonna not play anything? They're probably gonna play something, right? Come on, play something. This is risky. Me not doing anything. I mean I guess. Kinda risky. Yeah, they played something. I don't fight. Get him, Rex. I did this earlier. Um off stream, and my opponent had had two they had, you know, uh Two enemies like that, <clears throat> and one of them was a Zed that was tough, and they were tapped out, and I got seven Riptide Rex triggers, and only one went to the tough Zed, like a three-two tough Zed. I need, I just needed two of them to go to the Zed. This is against like the standalone deck. Only one went to the Zed. All, all the rest went to the other one. I was like, come on. All right, two and one. Your favorite deck right now is Misfortune Elise, because you get Spider Pirates. Okay, that's that's pretty legit. Spider Pirates. Ooh, Ionia card back. We're at negative fifty. All right. Ionia card back. Let's change our region. Uh, let's go. Yeah, Noxus. Okay, Noxus is active. Perfect. That's my next card back I want. And then we just need that and Demacia. Cool. Also, this art right here, like, that's a cool looking symbol. I guess all these symbols look really cool, like, like this. Yeah, like. You know, like this for a symbol looks a lot better than that. I wish they would have this and not that, just kind of everywhere. This Bilgewater one looks legit. Also. All right, sorry. Anyway. All right, Fury, that's your deck right there. <clears throat> Swain as Alright, against control, we're getting rid of these brittle steels. 
control ish. Turn one, Omen Hawk. It's probably my favorite turn one play is Omen Hawk. Standalone deck? No. Oh, I definitely should have attacked the other way. I <laughs> could have put him. They could be at 19 right now. Whoops. What's going on over here? Life Blade. Yeah, you don't want to no, I missed. If I would have played this last turn, we had the Coral Creatures on top. I would have hit. No, not the tough. Ugh, man, that's two, two rough RNGs in a row for me. The tough, of course, is bad with all these mega rains hmm. <laughs> no I've, I have no idea back ninja Should be at 11. No, they, I guess they would have gained the two life back anyway, so no. Yeah, it'd still be at 12. All right, let's miss some food, well, I was going to obliterate the tough thing, but now we're just going to try to obliterate this Grizzled Ranger. Ow. Don't stop that. No, Grizzle Ranger is so good. Yeah, I'm fourteen away from deep. Now we're talking. Now we talking. Next turn is turn eight. Got the warning shot, warning shot, Riptide Rex combo. None of them hit that thing? Uh. Don't you like how they have it like this too? Like where you, it's like makes it really difficult to see what's going on. So. Okay, so 
This has three targets. That has two. That has two. Badger Bear has the three, and then two and two. So I think they just kept Karma alive. Who knows, though? Okay, they did. They kept Karma alive. Not really a good way to play around judgment. Do your worst. Hope they don't have it. Come on. Well, you gotta have the only card in the whole format. Alright, well I can save. Wish I had one of those brittle steals now. Um I guess I save this thing. Like all of my stuff's gonna die. Let's just let's just see what we get. Maybe we hit a deny. What is up? What is up? Oh no! I was gonna do the gotcha. The misfortune gotcha. See, that's why that's why we play pilfer goods because sometimes you need to deny sometimes you just need that deny and there you go there it is <laughs> yeah like they had like the one card in the format that was like the sweeper and then I I drew the one card in the format to stop it against theirs I mean I guess not I could have gone like will of Ionia there's other things I could have gotten, but... Alright, that's gone. Let's keep this. <laughs> that was me hacking right there. Yep. Had it the whole time. The power of... Powder Monkey. That's a great draw. Alright, we want to take Ledros and Karina Vraza. Come on, let's get the 9 drops. I've never gotten the 9 drops from them before. Boom! I had to say that, because I have taken probably around 20 cards from this Karina control deck and I've never gotten a nine drop before so finally got one Fresh is worth at least twice as much <laughs> no Doesn't mean we're gonna win yet, though. But that was a good hit. I'm not greedy. Oh no, RNG gods. We didn't get the allegiance. Oh yeah, our turn one Omen Hawk. We fight for one Frail Yard. Which would have taken Withering Whale, not Grasp, from them.
Dang. I refuse. No fooling around there. I was gonna say that, you know, while ruination would be bad, it wouldn't like it wouldn't have been the, the worst thing in the world. Make it rain. Make it rain. All right, did we get lucky? Do we get more nine drops? No, not that nine drop. Oh no, that's the worst nine drop. No, <laughs> I meant Ledros and Karina. Uh... I should have specified. No, what am I doing? Okay, there we go. Camera was lagging. Fix that. Yeah, it didn't call that shot very well. See, figured it out. We're a long ways away from deep, so if we just play Karina Verrazzo, we just obliterate five cards, and then boom, we're basically there. See, figuring it out. That's just good deck building, putting those together. That's true. They don't, you know, I stole their ruination, so they don't have it. Most people play one ruination in, in my opponent's deck. Some people play two, so they may still have one more. I sure can. To men's, I sure can. Um, okay, one minute. There you go. Ledros. Green is not going to kill that thing. I do have the challenger. I kind of want to double spell. Yeah, I think it's better to double spell. Giovanni's at three out of five. Three teeth told me about this one. All right, so basically we're going to challenge that over here. All right, fair enough, fair enough. Can't stop it.
See if they play another thing. I'm gonna go ahead and Karina Veraza. Uh, Static Shock. Down to five. It's close. This puts me down to two. I can gain three. Oh, they're going for... They're just going for the five damage right now. Um, I'm going to grasp that. And I think I just let... I just let this stuff die. Wow, there goes there goes the other Ledroses. So I will rebuild. So basically they need um, oh, I shouldn't cast. I should have cast this thing first. Well, we're gonna play this. All right, whatever my top my top uh, creature is, it's gonna be pumped up a little bit. They need atrocity. That is what they need. Atrocity. Ah. Uh. <laughs> it's an eleven, twelve. Leveled up Sejuani. Oh my gosh, that's going to be a 12-13 Overwhelm. I want to play it so bad. I want to play it so bad. The deck's really good, Timmins. Yeah, it's it's real. That that's that's my best Frostbite deck. Um, if you like Frostbite, play it. The, uh, I want to play it. The best play is just straight up attack, though, right? It's the best play has got to be straight up attack. Do not test my patience. I don't want to play this. But maybe it's not the best play. Straight up attack. The straight up attack, they, they have two removal spells. They can stay alive. I'm not worried about them playing Commander Ledros, because they play Commander Ledros, they go to one mana. See, now now two removal spells wouldn't keep them alive. They couldn't have, you know, that plus a get excited or a, a gotcha. I'm not really worried about Ruination. Ooh. Reaching Masters. Rank 81. We are rank 81 in Masters with Starlet Fate. So we kept we kept our quota. We've played the deck three times. We've gone four and one every single time. So we this is just a, a true 80% win win rate deck, right? Like we're, we're 12 and 3. With this deck, it's just, you know, it looks strange, um, but it's just really effective. So yeah, if you if like these these kind of cards are cards that you like, give this list a try. I've played the exact same list three times. Starlet Fate. Um, it's pretty sweet. Uh, yeah, like not, nothing really changed about the list. So our one loss was to burn. Burn is really, really good. I don't know. Um, I don't know like how well we did against burn in the other videos. I just don't remember. We do have a lot of one and two mana cards. Like our curve, we have 23 cards over half of the deck costs either one or two mana. So it's like, like we have a lot of like cheap things and you have cards like make it rain. Like we have 
a lot of cheap things and so we can interact with them right away. I just don't have life gain and for one and then two, I know finishing games out can be a little problematic as well. But we can uh, we can stop their early assaults right away. So yeah, there we go. Starlit Fate. Um, check it out. Yep, it'll get you to Masters, as you can see here. <laughs> Alright, but thank you so much for, for watching. Uh, those of y'all on YouTube, um, hit that like button, leave those comments, and uh, you know, let me know what you think of the deck, all that kind of stuff. But that's all I got, so thanks again, and I'll see you for the next video.